You don't have to go back very far, only about 100,000 years. All our ancestors lived in Africa, were African, and walked out of Africa not that long ago. So we are African, actually we're African apes. We're all African apes, uh, and somehow brings us all together, don't you think? We're apes with a shave. Yeah, yeah exactly right. Yeah. Glen Rose, Texas. This rural southern town has a population of only 2,500, but may hold one of the most incredible archaeological artifacts ever found. At the Creation Evidence Museum is an ancient hammer known as the London Artifact, named after the central Texas town where it was discovered in 1936. The hammer itself was found in the Travis Formation. It's a concretion of sandstone. And it usually takes about 140 million years for this to form. That would put it at 140 million years old. Mainstream scientists contend that the first modern humans emerged only 200,000 years ago. But if so, how is it possible that such an artifact exists? The hammer was scientifically analyzed in the 1980s by two independent labs, the Creation Science Foundation based in Australia and the Battelle Memorial Laboratory in Columbus, Ohio. Incredibly, both labs concluded that the hammer could indeed be over 100 million years old. Part of the handle actually is starting to go through a process called colification. It's where you have inorganic material and organic material changing into coal. This is something that just simply can't happen in the span of, say, 100 years. Like most people saying, oh, this is nothing more than a hammer that was left behind by a would-be prospector from the mid-1800s. In addition to colification, the handle of the hammer shows signs of petrification. This process of the organic wood being replaced by mineral crystals takes millions of years. Test results concluded that the material on the hammerhead consisted of 96.6% iron, 2.6% chlorine, and less than 1% sulfur. Incredibly, this material contained no carbon to indicate modern manufacturing. When we were making steel for tools, part of the process is to use a blast furnace to remove carbon out of it completely. But we always have about 0.2 to 2% left over. There's always a carbon signature on our steel, but there wasn't any carbon whatsoever that was found in this particular material. This object may be as old as 140 million years. And obviously, that's a crazy proposition if you think that modern-day archaeology suggests that we've only been around for about 10,000 years, you know, creating stuff with our own hands. So this falls into the category of out-of-place artifacts, artifacts that shouldn't exist. If the London Hammer really dates back to over 100 million years, as the data suggests, this find would have to fundamentally reshape our understanding of human development on planet Earth. 